In 2015 and 2016, several partners implemented a fish habitat restoration project on the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River in an area previously dredge mined. The dredge mining left the river trap between tailings and the mountain, causing it to function like a flume, flushing wood and gravel downstream that could have created fish habitat. Restoration actions removed some dredge tailings, returned the river to its historic floodplain, added fish habitat features, created side channels, and restored native vegetation. Heavy snowfall in the winter following construction resulted in spring flows high enough that they typically occur only every 25 years. As expected and even hoped for, these flows helped adjust and naturalize the implemented project. This video provides an update on the status of this project seven years after implementation. Large wood plays an important role in fish habitat. It provides hiding cover for fish and also protects them from high river velocities, particularly during high spring flows. Before habitat restoration, this section of the Yankee Fork contained almost no wood partly because there was nothing within the flume-like river to capture the wood. Wood structures installed during restoration have persisted and even captured additional wood mobilized by high spring flows. This captured wood forms complex fish habitat in a way that's impossible for restoration to replicate. Side channels provide important habitat for fish, including undercut banks and overhanging vegetation cover. Side channels are also used by beaver, which, over seven years, built 31 dams in two side channels of this project. These dams and associated ponds provide excellent summer and winter cover for fish. Beaver ponds also bring nutrients into the stream and delay water movement, which increases primary production as sunlight and biological processes bring these nutrients into the food chain. This is particularly important in the Yankee Fork, which is nutrient poor. Beaver ponds also create shallow water areas that can be warmer than adjacent flowing water. Warm water areas could seem as a negative in most places, but in the Yankee Fork, which may be the coldest place on earth, these warm areas help increase fish metabolism and growth, resulting in bigger fish and ultimately better survival. During winter, side channels become covered with surface ice, creating a more stable and slightly warmer environment than the slush ice choked main stem Yankee Fork. Riparian vegetation growth has been extensive in areas where dredge tailings were removed to create a floodplain. These plants slow floodwaters, which helps capture silt and further increases riparian vegetation growth. Upland vegetation has also become established in recontoured areas, such as the dredge cut through the alluvial fan and the dredge tailings that were left in place in the project area. Upland vegetation establishment on the undisturbed tailings remains sparse. While most natural changes in the project area have been positive, one change was less than desirable and one was concerning. The project included the creation of two split channels that were cut off during the 2017 flood, which was undesirable. These channels were converted into high flow channels and low flow alcoves. While they still provide good off channel habitat for fish, bypassing them resulted in a high velocity straight channel that carries most of the flow. This condition is concerning, as these high velocities have caused the channel to cut downward. Project partners are monitoring this situation to determine if intervention is necessary. Overall, fish habitat has increased substantially over pre-restoration conditions. Pools have been maintained and created, cover has increased, and best of all, the project area is no longer an armored static flume, but a dynamic, naturally functioning ecosystem. This natural function ensures that fish habitat components will be created and replaced into the future.